is because we're talking about cell phones. We all have one. We carry them with us. And when they become compromised, they are watching us, listening to us, and people within government carry them, people within industry carry them, top secret people carry them. It is universal, and it affects every aspect of so, our society. So it's not just my privacy, my health records, my information, my contacts. It's, it's the intellectual property that could be stolen. It's the state secrets that somebody might be carrying uh, when they use their yes. iPhone at, at the government. Just, I mean, it's, it's much yes. bigger than just thinking about it's, it's your address code or your it's, buying it's, patterns are going to be hacked. It's that Stuxnet is, is kindergarten stuff. This is the real world with bad things happening when we start messing with our phones. I mean, they're already spying on us because we're downloading applications without looking at the permissions that we give them. We have to get real here. We cannot do this. We cannot allow forced back doors into software. It will be the end of us, I assure you. What, what is your team seeing when it comes to the international cyber war that maybe isn't apparent to people on the ground right now, but feels like, based on the reports that we've read, is fully underway. What is actually happening, from your view? Well, there is no full underway. I think the Chinese and the Russians are, are playing with us, getting information. I guarantee you they have a button they can push anytime they wish, which will shut down our power grids, which in turn will shut down our food production, our communications, our emergency services. There were studies that were done and presented to Congress last year that said 90% of Americans will perish in an all-out cyber war with Russia or China. We're looking at something massively serious here. I, I, I blanched when you said thing. all this. I turned white and, and I looked at Melissa and Melissa nodded her head up and down. It's yes. like, yeah, it's all true. Everything. Because worms can cause it physical destruction. That we, I mean, for instance, the Stuxnet. It was a controller. It was a Siemens controller that caused physical destruction to the centrifuges. Yes, absolutely. Okay, fair enough. Absolutely. Now that we're no, terrible. Now, as you, as you, John, as, as you know, know, I'm going to see an illusion in this day and age. Uh, I've been arguing this the whole week. Be. You know, I buy a phone. They track everywhere I go, everything I do anyway. Why do I care? Well, you should care. I mean, you I do. I'm care. being facetious. Let me ask you something. Is there another way to get your life? life? If... If, for example, I could say, I know everything you've ever done, and I published it in the New York Times, would you be comfortable with that? No. Nope. I don't think anybody would. Okay, who would? None of us would. It's not that we have no, nothing I mean, to I guess hide. what I'm saying is, are we kind of self-publishing already? I mean, we all know that using Twitter yes. and Facebook and walking around yes. the phone with GPS we, enablement, and we're all kind of self-publishing all the time anyway. But we still choose what we publish. We don't choose to publish our darkest secrets, and we all have them. All of us. Now, you know that I'm running for the president under the Libertarian Party banner. My prime, my prime concern in becoming president is to change this cyber uh, illiteracy within our government to bring it into the modern age. We have to. The next war is not going to be fought with bombs and missiles and tanks. No, it's going to be fought with cyber science and so, cyber warfare. So on that note, John, when the White House says, when they were asked about Apple's opposition to the order, they said the DOJ is not asking Apple to create a new backdoor. They're just asking Apple for access to one device. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. To the White look House. look at Tim, look at Tim Cook's. Uh, but that's the White House. Look at Tim Cook's comment because he was the one that the FBI asked to do the thing. He said, what they've asked me to do is the equivalent of a back door. Now, is Tim Cook lying? I do not think so. I respect this man. Everybody in industry respects this man. We as Americans have to stand behind Tim Cook and Apple, else we are going to be in a world of hurt. We are. But you're saying the White House is wrong when they say this? Yes, they are absolutely wrong. They are just couching their words in ways that they can make it look like it's not a back door, but it is. So when, back to Brian's point about the issue of privacy, all these kids... Me too. We all do it. We post on Facebook like crazy. We post on Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter, etc. What do you think about that? Is that good or bad? Is that right? I mean, if you're worried about people being able to see stuff, I mean, there it all is. Are they crazy? Are they just crazy narcissists? What? Well, no, okay, here's the point. I, uh, I read the statistics from the Pew Research where 65% of millennials now get all of their news from Facebook. 
Well, good luck, because if you're on Facebook, you know that half of the news stories there are from satire sites. They're unreal. So, so if the Chinese want to gauge what's happening within the American uh, a civilization by reading a news on Facebook, well, good luck to them. Um, but we still have to take care. On Facebook, you don't see people publishing their dark secrets. You see people saying, this is what I had for dinner, with photographs. Um, and then clearly those with any sense can recognize um, a satire news piece from one yeah, I, I, I guess I was I even mean that's we self-publish I get that so that's if I write on Twitter like I'll do now like I get it I'm talking about when the fact that we go 